Man, so this live stream is talking about drugs. We're going to talk about drugs, yeah? So let's start off with minor drugs, yeah? You know, technically, cigarettes, yeah, smoking cigarettes, nicotine is technically a drug, yeah? When I was in school, I think I was in year 10 or year 11, yeah? So I was either 15 or 16. We had a speaker come into our assembly. I remember we were sitting down on the assembly floor and this lady, she was a speaker. She said that a drug is anything that changes the way your body reacts, right? It, anything that changes your body, right? She said drugs isn't just weed or crack or heroin or whatever. And, uh, even cigarettes technically is a drug. Yeah? Even alcohol technically is a drug. Cigarettes, when you don't have it, you feel a certain way, right? Now, obviously, if you don't have food, you feel a certain way. If you don't like, you drink any water, you feel a certain way. But she was basically saying that even technically, cigarettes are a drug. They're just pretty much at the lowest level. Yeah? Now, as I said in the previous live stream, you know, people who smoke cigarettes, right? You are a follower, man. Yeah? No one just gets up one day and thinks, you know what, I'm going to try a cigarette for the first time. Yeah? You probably was in a position where people around you were smoking cigarettes and you thought, you know what, let me try that. For example, you might be at work. Yeah? You'll be in your work office, whatever. There's a team of six of you. Yeah? You're the only person who don't smoke. The other five, periodically, they go out every half an hour for a cigarette and you're always left behind. One day... You know, they tell you, oh, come along or whatever, innit? Yeah. You decide to go out, yeah, and you feel left out because everyone else is doing it apart from you. Natural human behavior tells us, you know, we need to do what everyone else is doing, innit? Because we're social creatures. Yeah. Not me. Anyway, you decide, you know what, let me try one of those cigarettes. And bam, you're hooked. Just like drinking alcohol. Yeah? I don't know what's worse. Me, I've never drank alcohol, nothing like that. Obviously, I've sipped alcohol, I know what alcohol tastes like, but I've never drank alcohol, yeah? I don't know what's worse. Sitting in your yard, on your own, on a Friday night, drinking, man. Yeah? I don't mean, oh, I'm going to enjoy a glass of wine. I mean getting drunk, yeah? I don't know if that's worse than going out with your friends and drinking alcohol, yeah? Being a quote-unquote social drinker, yeah? If you're a social drinker, that means you're just doing it to fit in, yeah? I don't know what's worse, being a loner and being a drunk or being a person who fits in, does something to fit in. Plenty of times, man, go out my bread drinks, yeah? They know I don't drink. Come, Jay, come, Jay, come, I'll buy you a drink. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, fam. I'm not interested in drinking alcohol. Why do I want to get intoxicated for? Yeah? Me? I'm a man. I like to be in control. So there's no way I'm going to do anything to make myself, you know, I don't want to get loose. Yeah, I, I don't want to drink alcohol to, I don't need alcohol to make me feel better about myself. I feel good all the time. So I ain't going to go to no clubs to drink alcohol just to fit in with people. And at a certain time, there's certain man, they drink alcohol so they get more confident to talk to women. Yeah? If you want to build up your confidence with speaking to women, you need to just go out there and approach women, innit? You can't wait to have a certain substance in your body to feel confidence to talk to women, right? People then, they start drinking alcohol because they see other people doing it. You are easily influenced. So anyway, so you got a man smoking cigarettes, yeah? They smoked or she started smoking because, you know, her friends, colleagues, work, family members, whatever in it, yeah, they start smoking or whatever in it, yeah, so they felt left out, so that's why they smoke, man. Yeah? This is 99.9% .9 of people walking around who do smoke. Same with the alcohol and that. They didn't just start drinking alcohol on their own, man. Yeah? Actually, they may have, but I will talk about that in a minute, yeah. They started drinking alcohol because they went out with their brethren and that, and they wanted to fit in, yeah, they didn't want to be left out, yeah, so they are weak minds, so... They wanted to do stuff to fit in because they didn't want to feel left out. They're a weak-minded person, isn't it? Yeah. Same thing with weed. Yeah. Like, who gets up in the morning and thinks to himself, yeah, I'm going to start buying weed today? No one does that. The people that are around them, they started buying weed. Yeah. They're around people that buy weed and they think, you know what, let me hit this up. Yeah. Let me let, let me see what this, this, this thing's about. Yeah. And then that's when they get hooked. I know, man. Yeah. 
Man up on weed, man up on weed for 20 years straight. Yeah, man start burning weed when they're 19, 20, and still burning weed when they're 40 years old. Every single day they burn weed. I know a man likes that. Yeah, the weed don't even do nothing for them. They need to smoke weed every day to feel normal. So when they don't burn weed, they don't feel normal. So they need to smoke weed to feel normal. I've been around, man, yeah? They're cool, calm, collected people, right? But when they thought they lost their weed, man start getting aggressive, yeah? Man start moving, yeah, like, yeah, man start moving aggressive, almost like a crack feed, yeah? Maybe not that extreme, but man start moving aggressive. A man can't, man can't find his weed. I, I remember I was in a car with a man, yeah? We went far outside London, I don't know, like, well, obviously, I'm a North London, innit? So anywhere outside London is far outside London, innit? Even like St. Albans, like, that's just like a million miles away to man, innit? Yeah. St. Albans in Hopshire. I think we went to St. Albans or somewhere like that. A man couldn't find his weed, yeah? Man start searching the car like he go and tear the car apart just for a little bag of weed. When he thinks to himself like, right, even if I have lost my weed, yeah, we're only going to be at this function for six hours, what, I can't go and get a split or a draw six hours after? Like, when I return home at 9 o'clock, 9 p.m.? That's how you know the drugs is fucking up people's head when they can't even go six hours, eight hours, 12 hours a day without burning weed. The man needs weed to feel normal. Not to feel high, he needs it to feel normal. And it's just like a heroin addict. Mm -hmm. Heroin addicts, yeah? If they don't take the drug, they get withdrawal symptoms. Yeah? They feel fucked. Yeah? They feel like they're going to die. Yeah? Heroin is a serious thing. I, I've been in, yeah? Man, I don't talk too much. A man been in certain environments. I've seen man chasing the dragon. Yeah? Man's got a piece of foil. Yeah? Puts the brown on it. Yeah, Puts the dark on it. Puts the heroin on it. And they get a lighter and they run it underneath the foil, yeah, back and forth, yeah, and it heats up, obviously, the heroin, yeah, the, the dark, yeah, and as it um, evaporates, they chase the dragon, literally, chase the dragon, I'm actually talking about this in my book, yeah, because obviously, I was in certain situations before when man observed that, innit, yeah, so, yeah, or obviously they inject it or whatever, innit, yeah, so, yeah, heroin is a serious thing. I used to live next to a fucking crack addict as well. Now, people then that do crack, they also do heroin as well. And I know this guy definitely done crack, yeah? For certain reasons, I ain't gonna say, yeah? But, um, yeah, yeah, I, he was a healthy man back in the day, yeah? But he got hooked on the crack. Hooked on the crack. And it just, he began to rot away. Man, he began to rot away. Literally, the man started to deteriorate. Yeah? These crack addicts, yeah, they start to lose their teeth. Yeah? Heroin addicts, they start to lose their teeth. They get really skinny. Yeah? They don't even concern themselves with eating. Because crack, because heroin, because light, because dark, because white, because brown, that is their main focus. You know, they ain't interested in nothing else. They ain't interested in no gal, they ain't interested in no money. Well, they're interested in money because they need the money to go and get um, the food, yeah? Yeah, yeah, fam, they, they, they turn into nitties, bro. 